right here in the ONTV kitchen. I'm Ian Locke, Executive Director here at ONTV, and we're back with another cooking segment. Um, over the years, we've been doing it as a staff, and our volunteers have been coming into the ONTV kitchen and putting together some of their favorite dishes and, uh, you know, family secrets, you know, those recipes that you have floating around. Well, this one is no mystery. I'm sure some of you have had this at a party or a picnic at some point in time. Um, but yeah, it's just a, an Asian salad, if you will. Um, and this is a recipe that my sister-in-law makes. And uh, she claims that she is a horrible cook. Um, but this is one of the things I love that she makes. And it's easy and simple. And you probably have a majority of the uh, elements you need to put this uh, dish together right in your house. So um, let's see. There's not a lot of ingredients. So let's take a peek at what do we have here before us. We have... Um, need a little bit of sugar right and um, some olive oil and white vinegar that's going to be the base for our dressing right it's more of like a vinaigrette type uh, setup but yeah you have your sugar our olive oil and our white distilled vinegar um, i have used apple cider vinegar because sometimes you know a lot of recipes use apple cider vinegar uh, it gives it a different flavor it it works uh, but i i think i enjoy the white better um, so it doesn't add any different types of flavors to it. I got used to eating it with the white vinegar. So we're going to stick with the white vinegar today. But we also have these guys, sunflower seeds. Now I have two different types of sunflower seeds here. I have um, some unsalted and I have some salted. So uh, we're going to use the rest of my unsalted, see if I have enough. I think it's a half a cup of uh, sunflower seeds in the recipe. Um, but uh, you can use a salted too, gives it another little flavor kick to it. We also have little beef ramen. So what we're gonna do is smash these uh, noodles up nice and good, and then use the beef flavoring packet in with our dressing, mix it all up with the sugar and the vinegar and the oil, and that's, that will be the final, final piece of our dressing. We also have a package of coleslaw, which you can get that anywhere, right? This is a 14 ounce bag of the classic coleslaw. And uh, with this, it, the recipe asks for a 16 ounce bag, but it's, you know, uh, with the uh, inflation and different things or shrinkflation, as they say, with a lot of grocery items, it might be difficult to find a 16 ounce bag of uh, coleslaw, um, but 14 works out well. You just have a, a little stronger uh, mix of the dressing in with the coleslaw to get things going. Other element, we have a little veggie we're going to add to it. It's some green onions, and we're going to chop those up into, you know, just little pieces. And just like with any other dish, you got to watch out how much of a, an onion you throw into uh, things that you cook because the onion can be overpowering at times. So we're just going to use probably two stalks chopped up in a nice little angular fashion to throw it in there. Gives you some color inside of the coleslaw or the salad and uh, gives you a nice little kick. Now we also, uh, the recipe I have, and we'll share that on the screen here momentarily, but it also asks for like sliced almonds. I'm not a big fan of almonds, so I'm just leaving it out uh, of this recipe, but you can throw them in so you get a little crunch. And um, I've had it with the almonds in it. It's not bad, but it's just a preference that I have. So the cool thing about this, making this uh, uh, little Asian salad, it goes quick. I have my measuring cups here, I have my mixing spoon, I have a big mixing bowl and my small mixing bowl for my dressing, and we can just get started here. I even brought in my measuring spoons. I, I, one, I wanted to share these because these were kind of a nifty uh, little gadget we've added to our kitchen at, at my house, but if you want to take a peek at these, see these little guys, they're all magnetic. How cool is that? Every time I open my drawer, my measuring spoons are flying all over the place. Um, now I have them and I can stack them up and I have them all magnetic stuck together. So this is a nifty little tool for those of you who do a lot of cooking or baking. Um, I just wanted to share this nifty little gadget with you. I won't need this today because most of our measuring will be done in cups, half cups. So here is the recipe and we'll put the graphic up on the screen so you can take notes. Um, but we have a 16 ounce or a 14 ounce bag of just general old classic coleslaw one package of beef ramen noodles, half a cup of sunflower seeds, half a cup of slivered almonds or sliced almonds if you like, uh, green onions. Again, we don't really have a, 
a number for how many green onions uh, stalks to use, but I'm going to use two today. Uh, half a cup of oil, quarter cup of sugar, a half to a third cup of vinegar, white vinegar. I like to use the third cup because it gives a little more tang, a little more zip. Um, that's how I prefer it. But if you're not a big fan of vinegar, you can use a half a cup. Um, yeah, so that, those are the ingredients. ingredients. One pack of ramen, and that's about it. Okay, so shall we get to it? First thing I'm going to do is I am going to get my coleslaw ready. Where is my bowl? Come on over here. Coming through on camera over the plastic bag <laughs> of coleslaw here in the in the kitchen. Dump it on in there. Again, this is a 14 ounce bag and the recipe calls for a 16, but that's okay. Uh, something else I noticed uh, shopping for my ingredients this morning at the grocery store is there's some kits for this uh, salad already made up. Okay, a uh, little technical issue here in the kitchen. My microphone, I guess, fell off uh, my shirt and I had to reapply it. So there you go. Here's my bowl of coleslaw. Uh, all that vigorous pulling on the bag to try to get my coleslaw open um, dislodged my microphone. So here we go. What are you going to do? TV, right? Um, just going through in some of the big pieces of uh, cabbage in here. I'll just break them up into smaller pieces. You don't have to do that, but uh, I'm one of those consistency kind of guys. I gotta have it a certain way, but but you don't have to. I've also made this uh, with a homegrown garden cabbage, head of cabbage, and some carrots. So if you don't want to buy a package you, and you're growing your own uh, veggies in your garden in the spring or summer works great too and fresh cabbage out of the garden in this is fantastic it has a different flavor more intense uh, cabbage flavor and it's just really good so there's my um, cabbage it's it is now placed in my bowl but then I'm going to get a little violent here with a pack of top ramen so all I do is smash it up in the bag if I can make sure maybe there you go palm of my hand that'll work just mush, mush, mush. Try to get them small. I pop the bag a little bit, so you gotta watch out. All right, so here I am. I get the flavor packet out, because that's gonna go into our dressing. Let me put that over here. I drop in the noodles, nice and easy. Discard the bag, and then I'll just go through, and any big pieces I missed, I'll just do it by hand. Now, the one thing with this, since we're putting ramen noodles in the, um, in the salad is that once you make it it's not ready to eat just right out of the gate so after we mix everything up we do have to have it chill for a little bit maybe half hour to an hour um, just to get uh, the dressing and the noodles uh, dispersed through all the veggies and get those noodles nice and soft all right it's almost done here Finding those random, of course, uh, I'll miss some and what usually happens is I take a bite and I get a big mouthful of the noodle. <laughs> might go crunch so so I just like to go through a little bit um, and do that so mix it up a little bit okay dry one so I'm gonna, here's my packet I'm gonna move that over I'm gonna get my sunflower seeds ready to go so half a cup of sunflower seeds just making sure yep and uh, it's you can see my measuring cups these have been through many many cooking wars and you can see I've worn off all of the <laughs> the measuring notations which can be confusing at times and not so hot. So uh, we just got to watch what we're doing here. Make sure I get the right. I'm looking around. Yep, I have it. So I'm going to dump in. So I'm a little short on my uh, sunflower seeds. So I'm going to open a new bag. And yep, my microphone stayed on that time, which is handy. And if you look, really like sunflower seeds, add more. So that's about right. There's my sunflower seeds in there I like this I like the sunflower seeds mix it up a bit and I don't know about you but sometimes I cook by eyeball you know when I look at mixing things I use terms like 50 50 mix if I'm doing like uh, you know cinnamon and sugar for like toast or um, uh, baked apples or something like that I don't usually measure everything out I use it by eyeball and then if I have some left over, I usually save it for later. So that looks pretty good. My sunflowers are added to the mix. Done with this tub, I can discard that. And we'll 
we'll get this off the table, clean up a little bit. I always like cleaning up as I go along while I'm cooking so I don't have to do it later, right? Okay, so for the more, most part, that is our little mixture there of sunflower seeds, ramen, and now I'm going to move my mixing bowl and I'm going to grab a couple stalks of onion. Just set those there for now. So I'm just gonna chop these up. Again, I don't, I, I don't really put onion in all this all the time. Um, so we'll be experimenting with our green onion today. So I'm just gonna cut it on an angle, you know, nice and easy. Watch your fingers, right? And the cool thing about green onion is you could pretty much use the whole stalk, which is great. Okay. And um, I'm not sure if it's coming through the microphones or not, but uh, we've got a very exciting podcast happening next door. Uh, uh, talking about, it's Tracy Woodrum, one of our longtime volunteers and podcaster here putting the podcast together, talking about the big win that Michigan had in the national title game for football. And of course, uh, the ON TV. Uh, Fantasy Football League, which just concluded, and I believe Joey Tysick, uh, our production coordinator, was the big winner this year. So, and I know Joe Johnson, our studio manager, is, he's all upset that he didn't win, but you know how it goes. Fantasy football, a lot of fun, um, but yeah, if you hear anything in the background, that's the other part of our studio that's very active today, and as it is always here at ON TV. All right, chopping up my gnarly little green onions. All right, not too many, just a couple stalks. I'm gonna dump those in. Okay, again, if you really dig uh, your uh, green onion, I wanna save those later for a salad. Put those over there on the counter, coming back. All right, so let me mix this up. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, next is the dressing. And like I said, how long did that take? You know, five minutes, most of the time it's just me talking and making a bunch of noise over here. So. Let's get our ingredients. Let me do my, I usually do my wet ingredients first. So that would be my oil and my vinegar. So I need a half a cup of oil. And I have my bowl here just to mix it together. I hope it's deep enough. I forgot my little mixing bowl that I usually use. So here's my, let's pour that in there. Nice and easy. Okay, again, it's just like a vinaigrette, and you can make uh, these salad dressings at home. I started doing that over the summer, of uh, making my own vinaigrettes, and a lot of it is just vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper for a lot of these, and a little bit of sugar. Here's my vinegar, another half a cup. Um, I think I was mentioning that I was, use, was going to use a third of a cup, but my bowl looks a little small here for mixing. <laughs> so I'll, I'll just keep it nice and, uh, nice and tight. I can always add a little vinegar later if I have to. Okay, so here we are. I got my, my beef flavoring for my ramen noodles right here. Let's see if I can open this. I can dump that into my dressing. Vinegar and oil mixture here. I just get it in there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I have my big silver bowl in the way. Let's see if everybody can see. Now, the one thing it's, you know, with any time you're using vinegar and oil, it's difficult sometimes to mix these things together, right? So, um, just gotta watch out for that and my sugar. So a quarter cup of sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar. Um, that's kind of the only bummer in this if you're trying to watch your sugar intake. Um, but, you know, I'm not eating a whole quarter cup of sugar in one sitting. It's dispersed throughout the dressing and so on. Okay, so now I'm going to mix this up. Woo, making a mess. Just got to go a little slower. I'm not in a hurry. Usually use a bigger mixing bowl. I should have brought it. Okay, getting there, getting there. And when I pour this into the uh, vegetable mixture, into the, a big mixing bowl, it can then, then uh, continue to mix. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Bring my veggie bowl back. Carefully pick this up. Basically, I just dump it in. 
And then my spoon just kind of scrape out everything. If some of the sugar settled to the bottom of the, of the mixing bowl. So that, set, that, set that aside for cleaning for later. And basically I just start mixing. And you can smell instantly the, like the vinaigrette type uh, smell um, when you mix your oil and vinegar together and a little beef flavoring. Now, it, the recipe calls for that beef flavoring packet, but the funny thing is like, I don't even know if I taste the beef flavoring um, in the dish or in the salad. It seems to work out okay. And so, yeah, this is about it. Like uh, some of the uh, the other cooking shows I've done with my daughter and, and myself over the years that we were in in the Owen TV kitchen, putting some of our favorite things together. This is probably the easiest one I ever do. And um, like I said, how long did it really take? If I wasn't talking, I'd get this thing done in about five minutes. Just put all the things together, mix it up, and it's good. And I think that green onion really kind of sets it off a little bit. So here's my mixing spoon. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And to wrap, basically wrap this up is I get some press and seal, uh, you know, or equivalent or saran wrap or whatever. Or if you have a big mixing bowl that has a sealable lid, I'll put a, put a lid on it and put it in the fridge. Now, like I mentioned before, you have to um, chill it a little bit, let it rest. Uh, so this, the um, dressing soaks into the noodles so it softens up a bit and it really kind of permeates the whole vegetable mixture. So there's my um, finished product for today's uh, own TV kitchen. And if you want to get an overhead shot of that real quick and try to get that, so see, nice and uh, even mixture there. Uh, you don't see it, but it has a, a nice uh, a sheen to it with the, the seasoning and the dressing on it and it worked out pretty good. So again, household items you may have already. You've got uh, probably olive oil at your house. I don't use vegetable oil. I've never used vegetable oil in this. I, that, I've kind of avoided vegetable oils and seed oils. I've just gone to um, um, olive oil uh, in my house anyway for a lot of my uh, cooking. Uh, so olive oil, vinegar, sugar, little beef packet, packet of ramen noodles. And let's talk about cost. How much does this cost? So I'd say $2.99 for the bag of uh, coleslaw, 39 cents for my ramen noodles. I think this uh, brand new jug of vinegar was uh, $2.99, which I have plenty left and I can use it for making homemade pickles or pickled red onions in my house and all that good stuff. Use vinegar in my home for other cooking items. Um, but the, even the larger jug, I think it was a gallon or plus, that was about $3.99 for a big jug so you can have your vinegar last uh, quite a while. Olive oil I had, sugar I had, you know, it doesn't cost that much. Sunflower seeds were $1.99, I believe, for the small pack. And the green onions were, I think, $1.99 a bunch. Okay, so not too much. And if you grow all these things in your garden in the summer, uh, the cost is even uh, less. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'm going to enjoy it in about uh, 40 minutes after I chill it for a while. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Ian Locke for ONTV, and we'll see you next time.